What's up UHS hardware fans, I'm Elliot Brownstein and here is the SCC M10 manual duplicator and what that could do is copy any key you want including those flip keys and today we're going to demonstrate an unboxing and how to set it up and use it and copy an SC1 key using the SCC M10. Let's begin. <music> First thing you'll notice is the AC-DC adapter. Just pull that out and remove the styrofoam and you'll see the full machine along with a brush. Also included is the car power cord which plugs right into your 12 volt adapter. Next will be the L Allen key, the jaw stoppers, and of course the knobs that you'll have to attach to the machine. We'll pull out the machine. It's wrapped carefully in plastic and we'll just wanna snap that right out of there. So before we start cutting the key, we need to make sure that the knobs are securely screwed onto the machine. Go ahead and plug the AC-DC adapter into the back of the unit. Now that you've got that done, you could go ahead and insert the keys. Hey, what's up, dude? Can't you see I'm filming? What, uh, what are you working on? It's the uh, SCC M10. It's a key duplicating machine. Oh, that's a pretty cool machine. Uh, what are you using to demonstrate to cut it? I'm just using these SC1 keys. They're simple, you know, great for offices, like, you know, the door right here to lock people out that we don't want. You didn't tell them about, you know, the automotive keys and any other key, like uh, this x horse right here, or even my Kia key, huh? It's OEM. I was going to tell them till you interrupted. Yeah, but did you also tell them that it's lightweight and compact and it's great for like mobile locksmiths and stuff like that? I think people can already do like a hundred curls with this thing. It's how light it is, man. Can I go ahead and finish this, please? I thought they fired you. Hmm, you're no fun. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's go ahead and insert our SC1 key or any key that you're going to have that is pre-cut. Tighten the knob to the fullest to make sure that the key is secure in place, but it's also straight. Now just repeat this step by using the uncut key onto the right jaw. Always double check to make sure that the keys are aligned with the tracer on the left. If the cutter touches the uncut key first, then you'll want to pull it out and try to realign. Turn the unit on by holding the power button for two seconds. Tilt the operating handle forward and turn the handle clockwise so that the keys move from left to right. Repeat this step and do it in a slower motion for a more accurate cut. Remove the duplicate key and clear any burr with the brush. Take the pre-cut key and your new duplicate and line them up to see if they match. And test on the cylinder. And there you have it. That is how you put together the SEC M10 and how to duplicate a key. See you guys soon and be sure to follow our YouTube channel for more videos and go to uhs-hardware.com for more products like this.